So I'm a little winded from that because um, Pinganidan is, should be a, a pretty powerful form. So if you're getting through Pinganidan and you're not winded, you're not doing it right. Okay, so uh, things to uh, look out for in Pinganidan. I'm also going to touch on some of the, the differences uh, that I've seen. Uh, what we do uh, at Binois, uh, what's in the book, and maybe touch on just some differences in different schools within our association and outside of our association. So, um, again, cannot stress this enough. Always look in the direction that you are going to be moving in. Um, one of the biggest questions that uh, we get with this uh, young as an instructor is how do the how does the block form, the very first block? All right, so we wanna make sure that we're pulling our fists uh, to the side. One is in this position, the other one is right over. So pulls here, you're in your hukujase, make sure your knee is bent, and then out. So what, what does the action look like? This one, kind of like a high block. And this one is out like so. Um, we're doing the uppercut, right? A lot of people will uh, cheat this series of movements and it looks really sloppy, so take your time with it. Our uppercut, what we want to make sure that we're focusing on is changing our body position relative to our direction. So we're kind of open a little bit with our shoulders on this. As we do our uppercut, our shoulders become way more square with the direction that we are going in. All right, so from here, we're pulling back for our chundang hang jen. See, shoulders are facing uh, the direction that I'm gonna be going in. From here, I've pulled my fist back. We're getting ready for chundang hang jen. This is my guard, okay? Um, at Benoit, we do the pullback. Uh, the book also depicts the pullback of the foot, and then we execute our Chung Dun Han Jin. So that whole sequence, just a little bit faster. Here, here, pull back. That's without the step, with the step. Here. Full speed would be something like. So, um, the other thing we see a lot of differences in is entering the sidekick area. So on the other side, we just executed those same techniques. Um, what does it look like? The new World Tongue Sudo, new as in sometime within the last 30 years, um, is our right arm sweeps across. We're kind of in sort of a half stance. Pretty relaxed, there's no real formal name for this stance, but our foot position just comes up half and a little bit of an angle. So we're putting our root foot at a good position for the sidekick. All right, as we pull back into this position, our leg comes up. It's all simultaneous movement. Boom, and then execute sidekick with the Kwan Do, not a cat Kwan. Uh, some do cat fun, some do kwan. All right, so here. One of the things that I encourage uh, at our school is you have to maintain balance after that side kick. So you should be able to pull that side kick back and hold it without setting your foot down and going into the chungo sudo marquis. So here. And then execute. Um, we're going to try and keep this short because I could probably do a three-hour seminar in Pyongyang Idan alone. Uh, but those are kind of the big things. Uh, don't cheat your techniques at the very end. Uh, we see a lot of here and half chambers. Like people do this, boom, there's no power in that. So here, fully chambered, boom. Into there. Uh, I'm going to reverse a little bit. So when we come out of our sudos here, 
This is my time to rant. We keep this in our school here. But we see a lot of big arm movements. There are no big arm movements anywhere. Here, everything stays within the context of our shoulders here. So as I'm getting ready to do this, this is a good angle for you to see. And then when I go into the next movement, if you could sweep the camera angle around. So here, here. So, so that you can see it. Uh, let's have your position right there. Right. I am within my shoulders. My arms don't make big circle movements. That's not what we're trying to do. Here. Make sure you twist your shoulders while maintaining good chungo jase. Good balance in your kit. Chamber. All too often we do this. Either that or this. That, that is not correct. Okay, so keep everything short, proper chambers. Uh, and within the framework of your shoulders. I think that's all I'm going to hit on on this one. If you want more, please message me. I'll be more than happy to break it down even more and bore you to tears. Until then, happy forms. Talk soon.